Richard Branson once said, If you are born poor, that's not your fault. But if you die poor, that's your fault. Don't you see many of the world's largest businessmen or business people, they actually were very poor. They were very poor actually. They, were, they don't have enough money or some kind of lavish background. Or I would say most of or many who are actually the most influential people right now on this planet. And today I'm going to tell you the second Trait, the second thing which they have today I'm going to talk about Mr. Ambani Mr. Dadabhai Ambani one of the biggest businessmen of India and one of the most renowned businessmen in the world how he started and what was that one thing which he had which lots of other people don't one sunny day a person came to a petrol station selling toys person who was filling the tank of the, of the car saw that and after he after the car went and he was free he asked the person at the toy shop how much you earn by selling these toys he said I, I can uh, I earn a good amount of money by selling these toys he said how much does the toy cost he said um, the toy cost 100 no I, I, I mean how much did you buy the toy for he said, I buy the toy for 70. That person, the, the person who used to work at the uh, petrol station, asked that I'm also interested in actually selling the, the toys because I am I have three hours gap free. So instead of wasting that time, I should actually go and buy uh, sell the toys. He said, okay, I'll take you to the wholesaler from whom I buy the toys. He took him to the wholesaler. The wholesaler said that you, he will sell uh, 10 toys for 70 rupees. That if I buy a good or if I give you the order of 100 toys per day, then how much will that cost? He said, The wholesaler said, it, I will give you them for 50 rupees. He said, Okay, just remember that you'll give me for 50 rupees. After this conversation, that petrol station man went back to the petrol station. And to, the, to his colleague and said look I have a great opportunity for you guys I know you you all are suffering from uh, lack of money so instead of wasting your three hours from five o'clock to eight o'clock why not you sell toys just for three hours buy ten toys pay for 70 rupees per toy sell for 100 rupees you get three the you get 30 rupees per year by this he was able to convince 10 people to buy 10 toys for 70 rupees from that shop. The next day, he took everyone to the shop here and made a sale of 100 toys for that wholesaler. The wholesaler sold uh, 10 toys per person uh, for 70 rupees per unit. Just think about it. Those people who bought the toys for 70 rupees per unit, 10 toys, able to sell for 100 rupees per unit. They were able to make only 300 rupees per day. But what about that man? That man who brought them all to that shop. He, he made the sale of 100 toys for just 20 rupees. And was able to make 2,000 rupees per day. Isn't it crazy? The one who are working hard to sell 10 toys for 100 rupees are able to make just 300 rupees in a day while the second one who is not working who just he's able to make 2000 rupees in a day without working that's the difference that's the difference that's the mindset of a businessman that's how the business people actually think. These big, huge entrepreneurs think that how can I, I that how, how can I be make more money by putting my less effort? That's efficiency. 
right? Getting most out of it. Those three hours, he's able to make double the wage he was able to make working from nine to five at that petrol station. That was Mr. Ambani. And that's how he started. And that's how he, he kept growing, growing, and became the tycoon theme of India. So let me know what you think about it and, and start guessing what is the first, first trait of all these business people. What is, what is that first one trait that all these business people have which make them the biggest of the best? Let me know in the comment section down below. Lanamayo signs out.